on capital is basically whatever amount of capital that you put in your business right how much return or how much return you are able to generate it's like basically it's an interest that you on your savings account on on your fd or i think roc as an individual investor we understand that okay if we have bought a share of any company and if the share grows i think whatever return that we make on the money that we have put in that business is my return on it capital so this is very important parameter that companies look at how to measure it so you look at all your operating profit which is what we have seen in our previous example so you will take all your operating profits divided by all the capital operating capital in your business and what is operating capital is your all your fixed capital which is your property plant and equipment so something which you get from your balance sheet then you look at all your operating assets which is inventory and the receivables from your customers then you take all your liabilities operating liabilities which is all your say payables to your vendors and other provisions if you have it right so take that divided by uh, say take your operating profit divided by your capital employed you get a return now how to read this particular aspect right so returns is basically say for example there are two companies company a is generating operating profit of 100 crore company b is also generating operating profit of 100 crore now and on the same sales basically both the companies have sales of say 500 crore so we are saying both the companies operating margin is 20% but which company is giving good returns to its investor if we have to calculate then we will see that company a is basically requires 1000 crores of capital to generate this 100 crore of return whereas company b needs 500 crores of capital to generate this 100 crores of revenue right sorry operating profit which means company a has 10% return whereas company b offers 20% return to the company so this is where roc comes into picture when you are an investor and when you are the entrepreneur right you need to understand how much if you are not able to generate more than what a bank can give you then it is better to was get out of this business and put that money into a bank account right so if your roc is just say 7% 5% 10% better to take that money invest in stock market or invest into some other government securities and earn more money right and that is exactly what roc helps you derive there are different levers that you can press in order to improve your roc one is improvement in your ebit automatically will give you improvement in roc if you can improve your working capital and other fixed asset you can again get a improvement in your roc working capital and working capital is nothing but it's a life blood of your business you take all your existing assets minus all your current liabilities will give you working capital and existing assets or current assets are inventory cash receivables and all your prepaid expenses whereas liabilities are all your payables to the vendors loans your utility bills and the salary wages that you need to give to your employees assume that your company buys raw material on day 0 from a vendor that vendor offers you 30 days of credit you take around 60 days time to convert raw material into finished goods right so you basically from day 0 vendor gives you material you take 60 days to convert your raw material into finished goods but in between 30 days you have to give your vendor money and you are yet to sell your finished goods on day 60 you sell your finished goods to your customer and customer pays says that okay i'll pay you after 30 days right so the cash which has gone out of your system on day 30 will return back in your system on day 90 right when your customer pays back to you so this 60 days is nothing but your working capital side and the way to calculate is basically your days of payables plus your days of your receivables right minus your inventory days which is 60 so 60 plus 90 minus 30 is your 60 is your working capital cycle for this so the best situation you have option a where supplier pays you on cash on delivery so you don't have to say supplier you have to pay supplier to a cash on delivery you have to hold 30 60 days of inventory and your customer asks for 45 days of credit this is the worst situation to be in 
versus your your supplier says i will give you 45 days of credit right i will give you material just in time so that you don't have to hold any inventory and your customer will say that i'll pay you in advance in this case your working capital is minus 45 days which means you are holding cash of 45 days worth of your sales whereas in the first example your working capital cycle is positive 60 days and in that case you need cash of worth of 60 days of your sales so if you are selling say uh, 365 crores in a year which means you need 60 crores of cash to run the business right whereas in other case you don't need money you are actually sitting on a cash of 45 crores 